In this video, we're going to see the hybridization of IH3. The reason why we're going to see um, IH3 is because it has five electron groups, and I want to see an example of that. Only um, three are bonding groups. So we're going to have two non-bonding, and that's, that's really why we're doing this example. So iodine is going to be in the middle. We're going to have these two lone pairs. We're going to have a hydrogen here going straight back in the plane. And then it's T-shaped and it's ever so slightly bent back towards um, this hydrogen. This angle is less than 90 degrees because the uh, lone pair bonding pair repulsion is greater than bonding pair bonding pair repulsion and so that's why it's bent back all right so let's look at the hybridization for iodine uh, we're just going to ignore lower levels and look at the 5s and 5p as you know, iodine has seven valence electrons, two on the S and um, five, four, five on the P. There we are. So there's only one uh, unpaired electron available for bonding, but we need three. So we're going to have to add some energy. And we're going to have to promote. So we're going to have to promote some of these electrons, actually just one of them, up to the 5D level. I'm going to keep my P's pretty consistent here, and then my 5S. Try to keep everything on that line. All right, so my S stay paired. And again, I need to promote one electron. I promote this one up to here. And that leaves me now with three unpaired electrons, which will go with the hydrogens. All right, so we're going to hybridize this whole thing because we have five groups. So we need one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to hybridize the whole thing. So I'm going to draw my little arrow saying that I'm hybridizing. I want to draw a box around all the electrons that are going to be involved in the hybridization. So always do that. When we hybridize, then we're going to be somewhere in the middle here. One, two, three, four, five. We've got our S. We've got our P, and there's three of those. And there's a single D. If you want to put a five there, you can do that. But it's really the hybridization is SP3D. So we're going to bring in a pair of electrons, that's these guys, another pair here, that's these two, and then three that are unpaired. This is going to be, uh, we're going to label this I with a little star, and that means excited state. And here we have iodine in the bonded state. We're going to have our three hydrogens up here. So these are going to be our hydrogens, each with the 1s, one electron each. That's these hydrogens here. You can see that. And my arrow's going to go here here, and here. 
So those are going to be my three bonding pairs. I'm actually going to label those. So I'm going to circle uh, all three of these and I'm going to label that bonding pairs. Find a different color here. I'm going to circle these two and you can see that uh, from, comes from here and over here. Those are going to be my lone pairs or we could say non-bonding electron pairs. So this is sp3d hybridization. Notice this is how we demonstrate um, there's still hybridization even though two of our pairs are unbonded and three of them are bonded. So this is how we would demonstrate a T-shaped molecule with five electron groups.